All right. Okay, so now I'm recording. And uh, I want to thank everybody for being on tonight. And um, I took this two hour workshop last um, Saturday, just on eyes. So I have lots of notes here. Right. And I'll, um, and I've also practiced doing it several times. So um, I, the whole thing that she talked about um, while we were doing this workshop with layering, layering everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a little eye makeup remover and take my eye makeup off and my eyebrows. So wait till you guys see how I always call eyebrows the gateway to the face. And um, first of all, and if anybody has any, I think we're a small enough group though. If any, do you think that we're a small enough group if we don't have to really write in the chat room, do we? Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's a small enough group. All right, so ready for this? I'm gonna just age 10 years. This is next crazy. Then you'll be my age, Nan. Oh God, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I just want to take a little water. Okay. All right. So here we go. Pat that dry a little bit. So the first thing that she did was how many of you guys, um, have to deal with puffy eyes. Anybody here? Not usually. Okay. Judy. You know? I do lately. Okay. So, um, all right. So this is what I'm going to show you. She wants, she, so the first thing that you do is you want to use this eye gel. And I love this stuff. Now we have eye patches, which are, I think a little bit more sophisticated, um, a deep puffer than our um, eye gel, but those are $40 and these are $16. This is $16. So, um, you know, I think that for, I use this on a daily basis and once, once or twice a week, more likely once a week, I'd use the eyes pa eye patches. Then afterwards, I um, do my eye cream. Now you never wanna do eye makeup um, without eye cream because anything that you put underneath is gonna look creepy, all right? So, Fourth finger, it's your least powerful finger. And this is about the amount, all right? And all righty here. And do you guys notice I'm doing a little tap? Don't rub. And Liza says, fourth finger. I stopped doing my fourth finger. All right. Now, um, eye primer. This stuff is rather magical um, because it will keep your eyeshadow looking fresh all day. Anybody have trouble keeping their um, eye makeup looking fresh all day? So again, you know what? This is at the end. Whenever you're at the end of a product, you want to tap it on the table. So the product will go down. And then once that you really can't get any more out, I really can't get any more out, I don't think. Once you can't get any more out, I cut it open. And um, then I, here we go. This is the amount I use for both eyes. I cut it open and I put it in these jars that are empty. It's the greatest thing because there's always a week left of stuff. Okay, so from lash to brow, And it actually even makes your eyes look a little bit more open, doesn't it? Makes it a little lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter. So then I'd like to take a little bit of foundation. So right here, I better put my glasses on to make sure I pick the right color foundation. This is light to medium perfect. So this is, we have several different uh, foundations. So this is our lightest liquid foundation. And I'm going to use our concealer brush. Now using the right brushes, again, are so key. So this is sort of a flat brush, as you can see, it's stiff. And um, so take a little on the back of my hand. And 
this is just going to neutralize the skin around my eyes. I'm using mm -hmm. myself as I'm using the computer as my mirror. I should probably take get a mirror out so I can see better. Yes. If you guys want put me on like speaker view, you're probably going to be able to see the details better. So that's up to you. Okay. So I wanted to show you something that, um, Judy, you obviously have seen this, right? This wonderful yeah. thing. So this- That was awesome, it, yeah. It is great. I had the most cumbersome, um, it was cute. It had like pearls in it and I stuck all my brushes in there. But this thing can, be, can travel so easily. It travels in, uh, this is the box that it comes in. It's a little plastic box. So you can travel with a ton of brushes. And then I'm gonna just stick all my brushes in a little bag and that's and then I'm good to go. And it's great because it whoops, one did fall out. One always does fall out, of course, right? You like that, Marianne? <laughs> yeah. So um, but this is I just really love this thing because it's so visual. Um all right, so we've got the the uh, um the concealer on that eye. Um I'm gonna put this back so I don't I'll, I'll wash all those guys out afterwards. All right, so let me just take a look at my notes to see what I make sure I didn't lose it, forget anything. I would have forgotten this because I, this is a new habit I have, have to get into is to curl my eyelashes. I have, as you can see, I have curly hair and I always thought that I had curly eyelashes. How many of you guys have straight eyelashes that stick out? You can raise your hand if you do. Um, so even if you do have curly hair, if you curl your eyelashes, it's, you're gonna, they're gonna show more. So I'm gonna do this really close to my um, uh, lash line. And then I take it and I press it in the middle of the lash and I take it again and I press it on the top of the lash. So I'm not getting a crimp. I'm getting a, a nice curved eyelash. I'm gonna do the other side too, because. I'll do two different looks. I didn't wear any eye makeup on my second eye. So I'd be ready for you guys. All right, so three times. And now my eyelashes. I'm looking to the side. Can you see my eyelashes showing up now? A little bit. Okay. All right. So that I just love that tip and I and I try and I'm trying to really get into into that. All right, so the first thing I've already, so now I've primed my eyes and I put a little bit of a foundation on my eyes and I'm gonna take um, a little bit of biscotti with a um, the all over blending brush. And I'm gonna be taking my glasses on and off a million times so I can see the brushes. Yeah, this is the right one. So this is your blending brush, okay? And biscotti is this color right here. Right. So this is going to go lash to brow. And don't worry, I'm going to be putting my brows on later. But then the the um, on top of that. So that's sort of like going to be the base to more shimmer. And this is Starlight. I think this is called Starlight. That's the pinker one, yes, Starlight. Okay. And this is a um, a liquid eye shadow. Love it. And it. And I'm 67, and so many women that are over 50 think that they can't be wearing shimmer. They can, but you don't want to be putting shimmer up here. It makes you, almost all eyes, no matter how old you are, look crepey. So this is just going to shimmer down here just makes your eyes really pop right so a little bit of the starlight love this stuff so this is sort of a pinky beige right and if you want to take your um concealer brush again this is this is good for liquid eye stuff just tap it in all right all right, so then on the interior part of the eye, you're going to take, I forgot the name of it. It's a light color called, guys. 
light beam. All right, so light beam is a very um, warm white. You know, it's a, like a warm beige. And we're going to put that in the inner corner. If anybody can't see anything, let me know, because so that so that inner corner there, it really makes the eye pop, doesn't it? And on the outer corner, there's a brown color, and that's called meteor shower. Where did meteor shower go? There it is. I need a bigger table. in the outer corner and I don't go any higher than the crease and if you want to run a little underneath your eye like that very fun okay and again you can use your fourth finger or you can take that brush again so if you just wanted to use your finger you could always tap it but you're going to get more of an exact thing when you use the right tool and you could just blend, use the very tip of this brush and blend this over like so. All right, so now let's do a little shadow over there. So I just want to show you guys, here's all Mary, I have my shadows all in the same uh, compact. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the compacts because they're so cool. This is works with magnets. And I just want to show you how I have mine personally. This is my personal one. So it has all of all of these are eyeshadows. I have three blushes. I have two cream to powder foundations, and I have a bronzer. So it's I love this for travel because look how skinny it is, and it carries a ton of product. So I I love that. Um, and then if you're not well, if you go, I would never have that many colors in a million years. This is a nice simple one, and I'm going to be showing you this for my other eyes. This has two big squares. And you can see there's eight shadows in there. Um, so this can be filled in 50 million different ways too. All right, so um, yeah, those are limited. And Liza wanted to know if those were limited edition. They are limited edition. So, all right, on the other end of um, my eye, on the outer end, I'm going to go over that shimmer and bring it up into the crease, all right? But no, I'm not using this brush yet. I'm using that all over brush. Okay, here we go. And the, the, when you do anything here, you want to be using a matte, matte color, something that doesn't shimmer. And um, the matte colors that Mary Kay has that I really like to use are um, hazelnut, which is a brownie color. And um, it, the then there's a cashmere haze which is sort of a taupey gray and there is soft heather which is like a grayish purple and dusty uh, uh rose which is sort of a, a mauvey color now if you have pinky skin dusty rose is going to be a little scary so um i'm going to use the hazelnut it's the most universal um uh, color to use in the crease and above to the brow bone. So I'm going back and forth. And this is the cool technique is to just take this in a circular motion, really work it into that skin there. Can you guys see that? And I'm bringing a little, I'll bring a little bit down right here to the edge. You're using the all over? over? Yeah, the all over um, uh, brush. Okay. So who else just joined us? Who is Hi, here? Nan. I made it. Hey, so nice to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, well, I'm not good on this stuff, so I almost didn't make it. Well, great. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hi, glad you, I'm glad you figured out how to get on. So Me super. Too. <laughs> okay. So now this is one of my favorite brushes in the entire universe. It's called a smudger brush. It's got short bristles and it's a, the, the bristles are a little bit stiff and it gives you a lot of control in targeted areas. So this is a great thing to use on the edge here. And I always have two. I have one for light and one for dark because I can't stand cleaning off the dark 
eyeshadows to, to, to do another spot that needs light right in the interior. And this is just so great for both, both of those spots. So that's why I always have two smudger brushes open. Now you can do a, an entire universe of colors to work on the, um, on the outer corner. And I'm going to use a brown because browns are, are almost universal. There's not anybody, um, there's no eye color that can't wear browns. And um, so I'm going to take this one, which is called Cinnabar. All right, mm. it's, a, it's a nice woody, warm, it's got a lot of red in it. So here's my smudger brush. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Oh yeah. So see how I'm going from the corner right here at an angle down to the lash line. And then I'm taking a little bit more here. All right. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I wanna be a little bit more dramatic. Okay, now there is a new brush that Mary Kay just had. We've had a version of this on our lim on uh, limited edition brushes that, you know, the ones that came in pink that were for a holiday. Do you guys remember that? This is the newer one. And I like this because the, the handle's longer. It's very luxurious. Mm -hmm. And these, I did this on Liza. We did a, um, a look in the unit uh, of so many people um, with different coloring. And I wanted to post on our Facebook page, all these different um, eyeshadows. And we had dark navy and uh, emerald green, which are pretty dramatic colors for white women. And using this brush really did a great job of blending. So if you ever go, oh my God, I put too much eyeshadow on. This is your tool, okay? So look how this just blends up to that brow bone. It's so easy. So I can't mess it up. Isn't that neat? Now here's another thing too. I really love using this um, Dusty Rose. I do have olive skin. And even if you do have pink skin, give it a shot, see if you like it. If it's making you cry uh, and you don't, it, it, it looks like you've been crying. The cool thing is all of Mary Kay products are 100% um, buyback guarantee. So you can always return it to your beauty consultant. So, okay, so I'm gonna go right above what I did just did. So it's just slightly above the crease and go up to the brow bone. So that's really nice. I know Eliza said it's hard to see the brow bone without the brow, so true, but you're gonna see it soon. But um, all right. And the reason I'm doing the brow last is so I, you know, if they get any fallout, then it will be easier. And the reason I have no, nothing going on here is because I don't want any fallout. All right. So, um, okay. So that, now I'm going to um, take the uh, other smudger brush and just confirm, go over that color, that, that inner color, just to cool it up a little bit. I'm using crystalline. And that's, mm. I like to do that on the inner corner there. All right. Mm. Now, this, this was something that I have seen before and I forgot about it. It is uh, Mary Kay's eyeliner. I'm using a deep brown. And first of all, do you guys know that all of our uh, eyeliners have a little thing on the, on the tip and you can sharpen this? I better put my glasses on to sharpen this. Did my glasses go? Oh, thank you. All right, so here we go. So I always take it out a little bit so you can see where you're going and just twist it. It doesn't make a sharp point anymore, but it does make it cleaner. Oh, I, I, I sharpened the whole thing off, so I'm just gonna use my finger to Okay, so now I've wiped off any um, excess eyeshadow that I may have had from other applications. All right, so 
This is cool. And I definitely need my magnifying mirror for this. This is gonna go not on your waterline underneath and not above, it goes in your lash line, all right? So, okay. So you touch your eyeball like this, okay? So you can get oh. in it. Yeah, it's weird. I've never seen that. I know. I had not either. So it was a, it was a good tip. Yeah, I never get the line ex where I want it to be. Well, this is really, if you're right in your lash line, you know you're right in the right place. Yeah, it's subtle. It's very subtle. So can you guys see this? Yeah, I like doesn't, that. Doesn't that make your eyelashes look so much thicker? Mm. All right, so if you want to stop there, fine. But I'm going to go a little bit more dramatic, all right? So now... This makes such a, now I'm looking at myself in a magnifying mirror and uh, I'm looking at my curly eyelashes and my, now my thick <laughs> uh, line and it, it's really, I love it. All right. So um, now I'm just going to do short little strokes over that and it's so easy to follow. Okay. Right. Nice. Yeah, very nice. All right, now I'm going to go back to that smudger brush. The dark smudger brush. And I'm going to take a darker color. And this is sort of my railroad track to uh, a cat eye. All right, because I, it's easier to follow. So I'm going to take a really dark brown. It's called Espresso. We do have a black color called Onyx. And if I wanted to be more dramatic, I could do that too. But I just wanted to uh, uh, show you with Espresso. So again, you know where I just did that, um, that original color Cinnabar down there? I'm gonna make that more dramatic, but I'm gonna follow the line of my lash, all right? They're making jokes in my house. Okay. Can you see that? So I've created mm -hmm. sort of a smoky cat eye, right? And if you don't want to go any farther than that, you can, you don't have to. Now, before I go and do the uh, lashes, I'm going, I mean, my uh, cat eye, I'm going to um, put mascara on uh, because I can follow the, the line of my mascara and with my lashes, it's easier to see. So the first thing, I'm all about the primer. I did lash primer. Uh, I mean, um, I, I make a primer, now I'm doing lash primer. I use primer underneath my foundation. I'm all about the primers. So this is conditioning your eyelashes, keeps your um, mascara looking fresh all day. And I believe it's easier to take my mascara off. Just make sure that you're coating all those lashes. All right. And then if you want to have <clears throat> a thicker looking uh, lash, you want to use black brown. Okay. And then if you want to have a more dramatic after that, then just follow it with black, which I will do with our lash intensity. <clears throat> and even if you are going to put false eyelashes on, you don't want to do, uh, you still want to put your mascara on because most of us have at least blonde tips on our, our lashes. And if you're putting on a false eyelash with blonde tips, it's going to look weird. So um, give yourself a, a thin coat of mascara. And I don't think that we have a huge population of Vermonters who wear false eyelashes, but it does seem to be getting to be more and more the rage. And I have black lashes. I now I don't have black hair anymore, but <laughs> I, you know, it, it's still I the the brown lashes I think really pretty. And yes. if you want to give it a little bit more oomph with black afterwards, you can. But now I've got the um, the line of my. I can see the direction where my lashes are going. All right now, this was a little bit. How many of you can raise your hands? Uh, use this liquid eyeliner pen. Yeah, 
Okay, mm -hmm. so I was finding that they were drying out too fast. Well, you want to just again tap it downwards on your your table or your counter, and then on the back of your hand, start get it going. This doesn't go anywhere. You literally have to take it off with eye makeup remover. Um, all right, now I've got my the direction. I can see my lashes better because I've got mascara on them, and see right here this is the direction of my my uh lashes is my hand in the way no okay and i'm not and i wish i were 25 because then i wouldn't have a little wrinkle there but too bad oh god i have pops and wrinkles well that's where the that's where the 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 primer also really helps too and the foundation so mm -hmm. if you if you do have um you know you're kind of wrinkly there you might want to lift it's easier to do when you're not holding the um the mirror with one hand so okay so I've made my line can you guys see that all right so yeah. I made, I made my line and I now because I did that shadow I have a little uh, track to follow too it makes it easier so I'm just gonna make a triangle from the top of that. Uh, where that tip was and just fill in. Nice, right? It's the right angle for, for my uh, eyes. Yep. And if I want to, I can continue this up from the base just in the same direction. So it's not too crazy. I don't think it's too much for Vermont, for Vermont even. All right. So this is another tip I really love. I'm, I'm ready for eye, eyebrows. And I'm so ready for eyebrows because this has been bugging me since I started doing this for you guys. Um, we got two things. First, the, um, the eyeliner, not the eyeliner, the brow liner. And this is a skinny little pencil, as you can see. And it's stiff. So... This is, this is a new technique I'm doing and I like it a lot better. You wanna start your brow in where the arch is because you want the most amount of product to be there. So if there's any, you know, you, and you wanna feather in to this space, but this is where the, the amp, you don't want a big, you don't wanna look like crazy Ernie or something from uh, that, pup, what, what were the Sesame Street, thank you. And, um, and you want it to be light as it goes out. But one of the things I have to say is most people's eyebrows wimp out by the, where, before they should. So the edge of your nose to the edge of your eye, this is where your eyebrow should end. And most eyebrows do not go all the way out over there. All right, so here, here we go. I'm gonna start this in the arch. And I'm using deep, deep brown or deep brunette. And many of us can use, uh, I could even go blonde. I could do a blonde um, uh, brow. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so that's, I've got my arch started and I'm filling in. And I'm bringing this to the end of my eye. And now I'm going to start to fill in from the inner corner. Can you guys see this? Is my hand not in the way? No. no. Okay. All right, I feel like a new girl. It's so funny, I posted uh, for Mother's Day a picture of me um, giving Liza a kiss and my, it, was a, it was a profile. And I thought, oh, look at that. I had eyebrows. I never touched my eyebrows when I was 28. All right, so now this is a really great little thing, eye tint. It makes your eyebrows behave and it gives your eyebrows so much more drama. So again, this particularly is a good product to start in the middle, especially if you have dark hair or dark, uh, if you're using a dark uh, tint and I'm using dark brunette. So I, when I want a softer look, I use blonde, which is sort of interesting. It's sort of a grayish color. Um, and it's a great way to tone down 
if I want more of a daytime brow, okay? Um, huh? Okay. So here we go in the center. And I'm bringing this out. Hooray, I've got my brows back. Right? I think I look so much younger when I put those on. All right, here we go. Now for underneath. Once you have put, I already did the gel and I had already done the eye cream, but it's been quite a while. So I'm going to take a little bit more eye cream if I can find it. Oh, here it is. And I have two, there's, Mary Kay has three eye creams on their line. This is um, the, a very light one and there's, uh, and that is in our miracle set. And then there's the eye firming cream, which is a little bit thicker. And then the time wise repair eye cream. If I had the time wise repair right here, I don't want you to wait. Um, it's in my bathroom. I would use the time wise repair at this point because it also has a little depuffing thing on the um, tip, which I like, it's cold. So just a little bit more, just to tap in there. And the reason I'm waiting for concealer to, at the end is because it gives me um, if I've had any fallout. Now, I don't really get fallout when I use browns. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use navy, I get a lot of fallout. So it's pretty weird. This stuff. What do, what do you mean by fallout? From your eyeshadows. So, you know, the, the color of the eyeshadow kind of can get down here and. Oh yeah, yeah, badly yeah. beaten up or something yeah, like that. that. Yeah, we don't want that, right? That would be bad. Okay, so um, here we go. So this was sort of fun. The, so I'm using this color corrector. The only person I have put this on that doesn't work is somebody that is so white that she's like neon white. She wears the lightest ivories ever, and this is. Yeah. I think it's too dark for her, but everybody, all, everybody else here, I think it's yeah. probably really good. All right, so um, two places I'm putting this, the inner corner, because I got a, that little gully thing, and then the outer corner, and I'm going down like this. Hmm. Now, you, if you want to, you can use, if you've got the patience, you can use the concealer brush. I don't have the patience. I like to use a bigger brush. So I like to use our liquid foundation brush to tap that in. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing the end. Who's, who's there, Marianne? Edco. Oh, she's got the best cat ever. Yeah, come see. Hi, hello, putty cat. Oh. Isn't this cat gorgeous, you guys? We babysit for him when they go away. <laughs> All right, another thing I love, this is the best tool. It's a very dense sponge. And so the bacteria doesn't get into this sponge. It stays right on the surface, easy to, very easy to clean off. And it's got a, a point. Mm -hmm. and, the, and this, when you use this wet, you're gonna get, it's gonna, it's gonna spread things a lot soft, a lot easier, a lot softer. Okay, so that's all blended in. Yeah. Um, and then um, there is. Is that, a, is that an essential in your arsenal? Is what? Is that an essential in your arsenal? It's an it's an essential in my arsenal. Okay. I like yeah, I like having a sponge with a point. I think it's very good. Okay. I also have an age spot that. Um, Oh yeah, the sponge also doesn't have the oils from your fingers, which is really good. Thank you for that point, Liza. You know, Nan, I got a brush from you that I use for that. It, it's like um, I have to walk, you know, clean it periodically. But I just, yes. you know, it's kind of like um, I forgot what you called it, but it's a wider brush with oh, bristles. I bet you it was this one, right? Yeah. 
This is yeah. a fantastic I brush. I can't talk about, I don't talk about it anymore because it, we don't, Mary Kay doesn't make it anymore. Oh, is that why? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the great marketing whiz is not going to talk about anything that's not available, but since you brought it up, Marianne. It's yes. really great to test. That's what I use. Yeah, this is fantastic. Fantastic for that. I'm, I really think that all the beauty consultants should um, email Mary Kay and say, we want that brush back because it's really, it's really great. Okay, mm -hmm. so now um, the, I wanted to show you another concealer. I'm gonna lift the computer for a second. Where did that go? It is a, it's a, um, it's a concealer that is, you know, like that looks like this. Okay, so what you want to do is, so the corrector is peat, and this hides the blue underneath your eyes, okay? Now, if you want to help to hide that puff, you kind of play a game with uh, oh, the even. And so this is a concealer that is more my flesh color, and you go your flesh color or even a little bit lighter than you are. So um, I am using light beige. I could use also use dark deep ivory, either one. And what this is going to do is going to go right underneath, right underneath the puff. So it's going to lift that skin so that like it it hides the illusion of what's going on with the puffy part of your eye. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to put this right underneath, right here and take that sponge. No, I'm not gonna take the sponge. I'm gonna take the um, foundation brush. Thank you. And see, I'm tapping. Nice, right? I think it get, gives you a, a really nice lift. All right, so now um, I, can now put on my uh, mascara the black this this mascara is insane it's got a brush that doesn't stop so look at this isn't that crazy it's so nice and thick so if you want if you want dramatic eyes this is the one you want so i'm just, i'm just taking this and placing this on top of all of my and I roll, I place, I wiggle, and I roll. Because I don't want, it's so much easier. You don't get clumps that way. Verizon is selling well for five you want to do it on the lengthening or the volumizing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So show, show everybody this, Liza. So, uh, she knows it's product better than me. Oh. Okay, wait a minute, I'll mute. Wait. So the lash intensity is my favorite. You have to mute me. Mute your computer. Do I mute my it's smart enough to know that a cab can also be an office. A truck equipped with best class available towing that has one. Isn't just a brand new one. The all new F one fifty tough and smart can only be called F one fifty tough. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching. Can you hear me? Yes. Now I can. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know this lash intensity brush, there's a volumizing side of it and there's a lengthening side of it. So I asked yeah. her the question when she's doing this, is she, which side is it, are you using? Yeah, wasn't she wasn't using a specific side. So there, when you, as you twist the bristles around, you can see there's longer bristles on sides of it. That's to lengthen your lashes. And then there's shorter bristles that create volume. So that's what this, oh, I don't know if you can really see it where you see that the long bristles yeah. on the edges. And then as you turn it, they're shorter. So the shorter side is what's going to give you volume. And then, so I always start with the volume and then I finish with the lengthening. Oh my God. 
Thank you, Liza. That was helpful. How many years have we had this? A year, two years? Did you guys know that? Well, thank you. I love that. I love new tricks. All right. So I'm going to end this with a quick little um, thing. I'm going to do all of the stuff that I did, but I want to show you, this is uh, what Mary Kay is doing for their limited edition. And, you know, pinks are really hot right now. So there's, this is the warm one and this is the cool one. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to do the cool one because I haven't done it at all. So it'll be fun. Um, I'm going to take the blending brush and use the second the second color this is really this is really tough you are not seeing the color the way it really let's see there we go can you guys see it so it's um it's a shimmer and it's sort of a rose color so and i'm using the all over blending brush And with in the inner corner, I'm going to take my, my uh, light smudger brush and I gotta put my glasses on to find it. Um, the light smudger brush. One R. I got that wild card if you want. Okay, so this is, a, this is a really whitish pink, okay? And it's also shimmer. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. And then here, I, I love it. This There's a, uh, a matte color right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use, it looks like it's brown, but it's sort of, here we go. That's better, right? And I'm gonna use that in the outer corner. There is nothing that is, um, it's sort of a medium color in this group. So um, I, I'm not gonna be putting, Typically, I put a medium color in my crease, but I'm just going to take it like down like here and bring it up like that. So I'm taking the darkest color there. And it's so hard to, for me to see this because I'll have to take my mirror. Let me look. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty intense. Does that look intense to you guys? Yes. Okay, so let's take that brush that I'm I'm loving, the one that um, just will will blend that all out. So I'm gonna blend it up into my brow bone. Here we go. Oh my god, this is such this is magic. Can you guys see that? So here's another, here's another brush that I have not shown you. Um, and I want to make an eyeliner. So I'm going to take our eyeliner brush, very skinny. All right, let's see how skinny that is. And I'm going to uh, make this wet. So I'm going to water down here. And I'm going to take that darkest color. And I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. Oh, this is cool. Mm. Nice, right? Mm. So you can see how much more detail this eye has because it has more detail on it, right? But, uh, and I don't have my mascara on this side, but I just did want to show you this, these shadows. Now, another thing I love about these shadows is, and you should use them before you get them wet. <laughs> You should use them as, um, uh, you can do them as a blush. So where's my blush brush? Oh, here oh, yeah. it is. Oh, I okay. thought they were. So I'm gonna take this very darkest color right here and I'm going to, on the bottom of my blush brush, see this br blush brush like that? And take that and make my contour color. Okay, and then with the, the two medium, I'm going to take blend the two medium colors. 
in the middle of the brush, all right? Mm. So this brush is sort of stiff. Um, I don't know if you guys who are beauty consultants, I find that it sometimes gives you too much color on your cheeks. So I like to tap right above that area. And then the, the light is going to make really nice highlight and take the top of this brush. All right. See right up here and on top of the cheekbone and then on the outer side of the brow. And then I can take my big brush right here and blend it all together. So isn't that fun? Now, another thing too, we're all wearing masks and, you know, that can get all over the place, you know, underneath a mask, your, your lipstick. So this is another thing that's really fun about if you want to just matte your lipstick up. Take, I'm going to take that second color right here and go over my lips because that will set my lipstick. I love your lipstick. What color is that? It's a, it's a berry lip liner with a peachy uh, mm. color over that. Mm. Yeah. It's a, so I always like to line my lips, fill in, and then I said, ooh, that looks too folly, too serious. So I put some soft peach color over it. Nice. Limited edition. So, all right. So to take a look at this. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I can, now, now I can put my mask on. Of course, I do it on the top too. And I put my mask on and then it's not going to go anywhere. So someday we might not have to wear masks, but we are going to be wearing them for quite a while. So um, anyway, um, uh, if you guys, if you've been taking notes and any guests want anything in particular, um, you want to text uh, your beauty consultant. All right, and we can take care of you. All right, but meanwhile, oh, sorry. Yeah, and, oh, and my my telephone number, Marianne, you got it, and uh, Angelica, I don't know if you do, but uh, my telephone number is two three eight eight six two two. And Judy, what's your telephone number? You're muted. My number is two seven two. Eight nine six five. You want to say that one more time, man? That was really two seven two eight nine six five. Perfect. Okay. And that was really fun, man. That was really neat. To, um, yeah. Those different, just some different techniques that, you, and some that they kind of forgot about. That, I know you um, forget everything. Yeah, you do. That so. Thank you so much for sharing that with all of us, and uh, um, I hope everybody had fun learning a few new techniques and. Um, yeah, I mean those new colors are are pretty awesome. They I are um, awesome. I hadn't I hadn't thought about putting them on my lips, um, but it's been a while since we heard about doing that. So I know. Um, but yeah, so no, thanks so much. That was awesome. You're so yeah, welcome. Thank you very much, Nan. That was great. You're you're so very welcome. And is there anybody that has any questions before we sign off tonight? How often do you clean your brushes? Oh, that's such a good question, Marianne. Literally every day. I clean my foundation brush because foundation is there to protect your pores. It's there to keep the moisturizer in and the crap in the environment out. And if you're using a dirty brush, then you're actually putting bacteria into your pores. So I use very fancy Dawn antibacterial soap every day for this brush. All the other brushes get, well, if I, if I'm, I'm, I'm now more careful because of the pandemic, but um, I'd like to use this spray, which sanitizes the brushes so they can get a quick spray. And this big bottle, it's huge and it's um, $10. It's, I think Mary Kay doesn't charge enough for that. Yay. Okay. Um, so I, I like to use that. Um, so, but, you know, really at least once a month. So every time, every time you use the foundation brush, you're going to want to wash it out. And if you're too lazy to wash it out every day, have a couple of them so you don't have to do it every day and wash them out, you know, all at once. And then, again, they're not expensive. They're only $14 a brush. 
And um, then the other stuff, I like to just give myself a quick little spray, wipe it off the tissue, and I'm good to go. So that's good. So if somebody's got TV in the background, if they could mute, that'd be awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Denise. Um, so uh, anyway, the um, that's what I do with my brushes. Anybody else have any other questions? Oh, um, do you still carry the lip mask and satin lips? Yes, yes, satin lips is wonderful. So it looks like this now, and it has um, a scrub which exfoliates your the dead skin the skin cells yes. on your lips. And then it has a balm that lasts for about eight hours. So you're not always reapplying and reapplying. I put so, the balm on every night. So it's it's two of them in that one tube instead no, of the two, two different tubes. So oh, here, I see. Yeah. Okay. So the mask that, and, the, and the balm. What are those priced? Yeah. And it's what got is the price, oh, the price of that? 22. Each one? Nope, Sorry. together. 12, together yeah 12 dollars separately I find those really fantastic yeah they are really beautiful but, yeah this is by my bedside every night and i put it on every night it's so nice and if i don't if i forget it i'm like i wake up in the middle of the night and go oh. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> how about anybody else any uh, denise it's so nice to see you it's been a thousand years <laughs> thank you sorry i was late no it's fine and we recorded it so if you want to take a look i'm going to be posting oh i do okay great thank you yeah yeah, yeah. um so is there anybody else have any other questions before i sign off no just one thing nana i think that um the, the size of my face is probably fairly petite compared to the length of yours yeah so like when you're <laughs> So when we when you're using all those brushes, I definitely probably would cut it down, especially for here. Oh, absolutely. And actually, Marianne, the angle of like Marianne and I are like, look full forward, Marianne. So look straight at your camera so you can see. So Marianne has sort of a, a roundish, squarish face and I've got the long oval face. So we couldn't be more different. So I, when I went and contoured, I went like this. So very, very horizontal. When Mary, somebody with Marianne's shaped face needs to contour, she wants to go very, you know, like this way. And that would just elongate me, but it would make her face slimmer. So go down on an angle rather than horizontal like I did. Really good mm -hmm. point. Oh, and another thing too, if you've got space on your forehead, it's nice to take a little bit of the excess and go here and fill that in. So it is an instant sun kiss. You're absolutely right on that, Liza. I really like this. I'm looking at this right here and I'm thinking this looks great. It's kind of fun. I haven't done that on myself yet with that color palette. So it was cool. Anyway, yeah. you guys, it was fun to show you my tips. I love sharing tips. And um, any other questions before we go? Well, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time. Good night, everybody. And um, I'll look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Good to see you. Thank you. You too.